Hello YouTube, here's my new solar water distiller. We're going to go into videos of uh, how I made this. I guess we'll start out with the construction material. Who reviews the PVC board and aluminum angle. This is course of tempered glass from a sliding glass door. I've assembled a mirror right here to help concentrate energy into the basin. Firstly, this basin or this model right here that I've made, uh, I've seen others that uh, totally contain the basin inside. I made these about 10, 12 years ago, and uh, the basin model or the basin that was totally enclosed, after a while you get a lot of concentration of uh, <coughs> minerals and such in the basin, and there was really no good way to clean it out. So what I've devised here is a basin that's separate from the top. You see, I can lift this up. This, this, this right here will come right out. That's why I put these little handles on the sides. You have to have some help, and you get one people on each side, one person on each side, and lift it out, and that'll allow for inside cleaning in the basin. It's okay. So here we go. We've got the model right here. We've got the uh, storage right here. Made this big enough for a five-gallon, uh, call them uh, carboy tanks, uh, water tanks. Made it big enough for that, but I'm using just a little two gallon one right here right now. And that's an apparatus there, the funnel to fill it with uh, water of any kind there, or if you don't have, use the hose. Here's how I've hooked up from the drain. Comes over, drains down into here, and from the out external, uh, external condensation chamber that we made, which we go into the videos, drains out of here, comes in, goes into the tank through there. All right, well, uh, I think that's about all of it for right now. We'll get into the videos of uh, how we made this. Okay, to start the build, what we'll do is to build the sides and the top first. And this is for a piece of glass. My glass measures 34 inches by 76 inches. And as it has a, a slant down, as you see this comes down, I've drawn it on my workbench. We come from three and a half inches here, and we're going over here to 34 inches. You notice I've got another line right here. When this glass slants up like this, it becomes shorter distance this way. So it's 3 16 inch less from there. And so what we have is 33 and 3 16 inch to the outside measurement. And the glass, of course, is 34. We had to back it up. So this is a seven and one quarter inch here, three and one half inch here. This is my starting point here. We're starting with this. Uh, with this, I'm using the PVC board. It's a little expensive, but I'm finding it works the best. It's an insulated quality to it and uh, won't rot. Things like that. So what you do is what we do in here is you get the seven inch, the seven and a quarter inch board, and we're slanting the cut down at seven degrees from the seven and one quarter inch side down. So it's slanting down, slanting down that way. All right, and it goes over to the other end right there. What I've done is drilled holes in here big enough for the screws that I'm using to go through so they'll pull. They'll pull it right together and on this end of the board right here this this kind of board doesn't really take, the screws don't take in it, they just spin out so it doesn't pull. So what I've done is use these wall anchors right here. This style right here has no top cap uh, end it's just a straight flat piece so I've lined these boards up after you make the cuts we're cutting this one down from seven and a quarter down to three and a half to match the board over here and then of course it comes from the seven and a half or three and a half up to the seven and a quarter comes along here I've already fastened these two ends right here so I've drilled my holes I've put these inserts in these wall anchors in the holes and this will help the screw grip. Now if you get the wall anchors that have a shoulder on the top of them 
you need to put it in and then cut that shoulder off flush so that this board pulls right all the way to it and then uh, what we'll do is we'll put a little bit of PVC cement uh, for regular PVC glue and put it on this uh, surface right here and put these two together PVC them and wipe off any excess with the lacquer thinner and now we have all of the sides all of the corners screwed in and glued and we'll let that set get tight and that glue will help to seal the corners to seal this joint and also melts this to this you get a good bond and you still have the screws in the sides okay now we'll start on the uh, frame for the basin okay here is the distiller top uh, assembled and we'll go over this again right here what we need is I'm using the seven and one quarter inch PVC board here the three and one half inch PVC board here and you'll need a seven inch seven and a quarter inch piece to make this cut right here and again we cut this with the uh, angle seven degrees down this three and a half a three and a half piece right here uh, the angle is also down and then this is cut to go from this point to this point and again the distance from here to here is depending on the size of your glass and that puts uh, the top together right there is the glued and screwed that we showed you in the other video. Here is the, the sides assembled for the top of the water distiller. I've put on these handles right here and just riveted them on using a uh, one inch angle and it'll make it easy to lift the top which will come into play later on. You see I've screwed all this together. Here is the the uh, spout or the uh, the drain tube. I've cut that uh, CVC PVC C PVC pipe. Uh, we're leaving a little on the bottom there for a catch on the trough. And here's my trough. You see it's bent, bent like like this right here is a half inch on the top to five eighths, and that'll rest right on here. And you see this is down about an inch and a half here and as it goes down here it gets smaller and this bend right here a little smaller this is the high end you put this on, onto there drops in Oops. and this will go right on top of the drain tube just like that this will be nailed be nailed down with silicone underneath it all the way through and then the glass would go on top of that so we'll look here at the, uh, at the fill tube that we've got right here come through there and on the fill tube I brought it down to where it doesn't touch so this is going to be filling the water right down there from the bottom there's the fill tube and the drain tube on this end. All right.